What's up, y'all? Check it out. We are back here again, back in the saddle. What's up, man? What's Welcome up, man? back, the Doc, Jason <laughs> Gaspar. Yeah. Um, so we're back with another talk discussion, and this time we are talking about exclusives. Oh man, those those uh, those con exclusives, store exclusives, exclusivity, the whole concept of it. Um, and how exclusive, like, are things that are actually exclusive, and do we need them? Uh, that's almost like, that's, the, when you ask that question, man, you can, you can, that's almost like, let's not even get to, do we need them? Because, you know, need, want, that's, a uh, yeah. So, uh, but before we jump into that, I just, I want to, I want to talk about a couple things. It's, I feel like it's been a while, I don't even remember when was the last time we actually yeah, got together. Like it feels like it was like a week. Right? Yeah, um, I've been busy. So if you follow uh, on on the SME Toys Instagram or on my personal Facebook, um, I posted today, uh, and you're probably not gonna see this until the, the day after. But um, about uh, just kind of kind of like an update. It was a, it was a lengthy post. I, I rarely uh, write such such lengthy posts in Instagram because it's Instagram. It's about the pictures. Um, but this was about, because I haven't posted on Instagram since, like, uh, July 13th, I think, previously. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to, you know, put out a little update and, and mention and stuff like that. But but I also want to say that uh, here, you know, if, if you've been following, especially these these podcasts we've been doing and, you know, the, the whole the giveaway. Um, so if you've been wondering what's been up with that, you know, especially if you have entered and we appreciate right. all your entries, some, some great suggestions there. And honestly, man, we can't wait to tackle like all of those. They're all, they're all great. Um, uh, and I, I originally had planned to have us pick the winner, you know, the, a week after on the following Friday and, and post that, but a lot came up. Uh, I didn't even get around to posting the 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 talk and the video or the the giveaway video on the SME Toys Facebook, which is what I've been doing is is linking them there. But because uh, like I went to I went to LA that weekend uh, and then just coming back after after that trip, uh, it's just real busy. It's been it's been a pretty challenging week for me. Uh, honestly, I'm not gonna get into details, but uh, it's been tough, and I'm kind of kind of working on shaking things off and just getting back into the saddle because you know i miss yeah. this i feel like i said you know it feels like it's been a while it feels like it's been a while since you know we're sitting here talking to you guys and doing one of these and just getting back into the swing of things and you know i always intended once we started uh this rolling it was like man we would just just keep it going and so you know it was it was getting very regular um and then you know to go like that long without without doing this again it just felt like man something's missing right. so hopefully you know going forward we can we can get back on track and you know give give these give these do these things regularly um so other than that uh i do want to also send a quick shout out you know one thing i don't talk uh to you guys about much even in my my halls or, or other blogs is it's about work uh i mentioned it you know and i don't think i ever i, I mentioned work and i i know probably the first the first time or so I mentioned I work at Rogue Toys uh, here in Vegas, but I don't really talk about it much. It's it's not like it's you know there's there's reason that I don't talk about it. It's just you know being tired and then you know I get home. It's like you know I I love the job but at the same time. I think like with 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 work, it's like you know go to work, do your job, do a good job. You know enjoy your work if you can. But then you leave work, you leave work at work. You know, so I try, I try not to really think about, think too much about work after or outside of work. Uh, but I do love a job. Rogue Toys is awesome. I, uh, the people I work for and work with are awesome. Uh, and the only reason I'm actually mentioning that now, I want to, I want to bring up a couple of people I recently met in this, this cool picture. Um, Ellie, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, um, I'll link to her or, or, um, yeah, uh, Instagram in the description, same as always. Okay. Like I, I put Jason Gaspar. You can look him up on Facebook. You can check out his Instagram. Uh, Ellie, her her Instagram is I believe re hollow like underscore and and Stephanie uh, Boba Cat Art uh, again. You know uh, links in the description. 
really cool girls. Uh, Ellie drew this for me in a minute and 27 seconds. So that's, you know, that's a sketch, but like her art is amazing. And, and Stephanie's uh, art, uh, she has, she actually has two pages. I don't remember the, the other one off the top of my head. I'll, I'll look it up and, and link it down there too. Amazing, amazing artists. And they, they brought me some boba. That was awesome. I mean, you know, that that was really awesome. And it's not, you know, I, I I meet a lot of cool people at at the job on the job, um, but there's not a lot of people that I end up really becoming friends with. And I, I think these two really really cool girls were gonna be working on some stuff together as well eventually. So shout out to you guys and go check out their Instagrams. That's dope. I'm gonna check yeah, them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should have seen it. To, to see her draw this in a minute and 20 seconds, 27 seconds, it looked like, uh, uh, now we're just kind of talking, uh, don't mean to ignore you guys, but it looked like it was watching somebody draw on video and it was sped up. Mm. She was just like, it was, it was insane. Like a minute of that. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then this week, because uh, you, you had, uh, I think Rich, was it Richard that came in your store? Yeah. So shout out to Richard Underwood, my boy, right? Yeah, so if you're watching, yeah. hey, that was cool meeting you, man. And so <laughs> one of Jason's friends yeah. actually came in the store. Um, when I was working at the downtown location, that was cool. Um, I don't know how many of you are watching this that are actually local and, you know, haven't actually met yet, but if you are local to Vegas or if you're, if you're out of town and you're ever visiting Vegas, look up Rogue Toys. We've got three locations, uh, here in Nevada. Um, and one, I always say this, one randomly in Portland, Oregon. Um, but if, if you, if you do... Uh, hit up Vegas or if you're local to Vegas uh, I'm always at the the West location or the South Rainbow uh, location or the downtown um, South Las Vegas Boulevard location I'm usually at the downtown more than than the the Rainbow <laughs> location but yeah yeah you know it's it's always great to meet people come on by you know and there's there's lots of great toys at, at great prices so yeah right. well we kind of got up now I mean we'll get back to our, our original thing we were talking about for starting the video so like exclusives uh, mostly the, the, the question is, is like, are you getting, because it's valuable because of that certain sticker that you want, like a San Diego Comic Con, um, Emerald City Comic Con, New York Comic Con, you know, or is it okay if you just get the shared version of it, that's shared at a different like store, like Target or Walmart? Or, so it's um, almost like, in other words, how important is that sticker right, to right, you? The sticker. Um, so I'm I'm not too well versed in Funko Pops. I have a very small Funko Pop collection. Um, so the things like these on the Funko Pops, mm -hmm. uh, how like there will be different versions, like a, a, a specific San Diego Comic Con one or a shared exclusive like Fall or whatever. Mm -hmm. Is this something they do with with other toys? Is it really more of a, a, a Funko Pop? It seems thing? to be that I see it a lot with the Funko Pops. There are probably other other you know, ones to other brands or, or trademarks that do it. I mean, this one right here, the little subjects one that I brought in, it's a 2015, it's a Comic-Con exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's because it's their... And that's, you yeah. know, that's printed right on the yeah. box. That's not a sticker you can yeah. just slap on there and, and have a different version of. That is straight up San Diego Comic-Con exclusive right there. Um... You know, and at the same time, you got to ask, like, how exclusive are some exclusives? Because yeah. look at, like, Hasbro exclusives, for example. Um, not all, but several of the Hasbro exclusives are things that are going to see a regular retail release. Uh, albeit in, like, different regular retail packaging or, or missing something that the, the exclusive version has. You know, I want to say at least almost always... Um, with the Star Wars Black Series exclusives. Those are ones that usually, like, the San Diego Comic-Con one is kind of just, like, a first release mm -hmm. um, with some different things and, like, premium packaging. Whereas, um, you know, and then they see a regular retailer release. Um, and then there's some, like, uh, isn't there some con exclusives, especially, like, San Diego Comic-Con exclusives that, like, um... For example, like they'll be carried by Entertainment Earth, mm -hmm. and it's just like an early release exclusive. Like you can get it first at San Diego Comic Con, but then it'll be available everywhere else later. Isn't that a yeah. thing? Yeah, it is a thing. And then I mean, when you go back to Funko, they have ones where it's just a set release only at the con. 
So they'll do a low count, maybe like 250 or 500 with a certain, um, you know, pop. Like I, like I follow a lot of the ones for, um, it was tested off. It was supposed to be that one that was the 89 Batman, which before they brought out the 89 Batman, they had one where it was just all black. And they're making ones where they're chrome. Uh, right? And then okay, that okay. blue one that they did is, is, is a chrome one. I only could get it at uh, San Diego. And there's, I think, I want to say... I think it's the limited if he's counting anywhere from 250 to 500 and that one always trends is like 320 bucks because you can only get them at the con wow you know um, like for instance this one right here killer frost it's a new york comic con exclusive it was shared at hot topic it's trending on pop price guy right now for 55 bucks this one right here if you had the new york comic con sticker on there 80 bucks you see how much of a difference that is just wow. by just by that sticker you know? it's like exactly the same just the sticker that's a that's an interesting thing to me, um, and I, I hate like I did I again I'm not a big pop collector. Um, I have some, but like I asked about this, he brought this, and I didn't know there was this Killer Frost yeah. from from the the Flash series, and I'm a fan of that, and I I love um, what's the actress's name? Is it is it Kay Panabaker? Yep. I believe. Yeah, I've been I've actually been a fan of her since her her Disney her Disney Channel days. So, you know, a big fan of her from the show. Um and it's like I would totally get this pop if it was a regular release, but knowing that she's only available in exclusive form for yeah. like that much, I'm like, Yeah, I guess I'm I'm never gonna have her. But um, you know, so it it's like how much do you need these exclusives in your life and and what is your reason is you know i'm not officially asking that as like this isn't the this isn't a question of the day but you can feel free to answer it's it's hypothetical i'm just like you know because we all collect for different reasons right yeah um but it's like again like is it just about that sticker mm -hmm. about its exclusivity do you just want it because of how exclusive it is and excuse me um you know it's it's worth so much um you know so do you hold on to it for the value and the possible possible resale value uh or are you on the flip side of that like is it something you just want so much that you're even willing to pay like it's going rate like say right. the the which version is the 80 bucks the the uh, new york comic-con Comic yeah. or you know like would you pay 80 dollars for a new york comic-con version of that because that's how much you want it you right. know it's like um for me personally so i have this i don't know the details on this it says uh 2017 fall convention exclusive and it has a little logo on there that uh i believe it's new york comic-con the bro chris rex flex all 69 i was gonna say yeah you gotta come back man uh for for another one of these videos he he hooked me up with this a while back and you know so i i typically don't collect stuff like this and not, i'm not saying pops in general but like special versions unless it's actually a pop that i want you know i want and i want to do something with uh, you know, keep going back to the whole sealed versus loose, you know, there there aren't a lot of things that I I buy to keep sealed. Uh, I keep this sealed because it's like, um, you know, the bro gave it to me and I don't really have like a purpose for this particular pop. Um, you know, I, I do, even my pops, I open them and I photograph them and stuff like that. But this one's really cool and special and it's like the 8-bit version um, but also for that reason, it doesn't really serve like a purpose. Like I don't have a need to open and, and use it and play with it and stuff like that. Uh, you know, so this cool, this really cool exclusive for me, um, stays, stays in the box. Yeah. You know, you know, you have any idea how much this is worth? Um, I think on Pop Rush, I just looked that up before we started our show. Oh, it's 11 bucks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's not even a, it's not like pricey or anything, but still, you know, um, so, and see, that's the other thing, too, with the pops. Like, it, it, it doesn't necessarily have to have a sticker or be an exclusive to be worth something. If Once they vault them, like some of the turtle ones, they vaulted them, and you can't get them, right? Because, you know, either other collectors have them through the community or whatever. Um, a vaulted pop can go uh, for a lot, too, sometimes. Yeah, you yeah, know? that's true. Um, I wasn't too familiar with that. Um, but not long ago at the store at Rogue Toys, we had a set of those Ninja Turtles ones and they were loose. Yeah. 
uh, all four turtles plus I think Bebop, Rocksteady, and one one foot soldier. Um, I forget how much, but it, it was like pretty up there. I was like, wow, yeah. these must be. Have they ever remade the turtles? No. And that's the thing that like the Funko has the licensing with Nickelodeon because they do a lot of other Nickelodeon. Why, they, why like, have they not? But they just haven't done anything yet. So yeah, I yeah. Just just everybody in the Funko community, right? Because I just said it, and now Funko's like, okay. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. Up. Funko, get on it. I know, I know that hurts the people who have those and and are holding on to them for for their value. But it's like I want. I, I would totally get, you know, I wasn't collecting uh, any pops at the time those original Turtles came out, but, dude, if they if they made new ones, i totally get those. Yeah. Not if they're exclusives, though, only, only their regular releases. Um, Man, you I, know what, you're just talking about the Turtle stuff I just thought about. Like, a couple years back, they brought out that NECA set. You know how they did the two-patch Target? They brought all those two-packs, they were all oh, in a complete yeah, set. They're all in a complete yeah, set yeah, in a yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. They made it give it that retro look for the stuff. Yeah, that yeah. That, I think that one because it was I want to say San Diego. That one goes for like three or four hundred dollars, and I just couldn't I, I I couldn't justify it. I'm like, what? And then when I heard the re-release, they were gonna do a release just two packs. I was like, I, I can get on board with that. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. It's but like I, even, I know there's a difference, probably just the paint. Maybe yeah, it's different versus the ones that came out. Uh, same with um, what was it? Was it last? Last year's Turtle Seuss's was the the '90s movie ones, mm-hmm. um, and with like the diorama and stuff. And then they had a pretty limited uh, release at at GameStop with the, yeah. the single single packed. Um, which were, did you get those? I got off. Yeah, I got off. Okay, yeah. you still have them? Mm-hmm. Are they are they still in their boxes? The, those ones are still in the boxes for now. I don't. Know. Probably <laughs> maybe I'll take them. Out. I, I, the '80s ones, the cartoon ones, I really wanted to get those out. Cause yeah. They, just, they made me, you know, think of just growing up playing with those those first, you know, toys. And those those were great. I love that you brought those over, and I got to actually play with those. Um, but yeah, so the exclusives, you know. Um, trying to think of other examples of where like stuff that it's like how exclusive is it you know um because there are there are a lot of things that that um really see a, a re-release in some form but then there's a lot of things that really it rich it is super exclusive um but i can i can speak personally I bought a lot of, you know, all those years that I was living in San Diego and was going to San Diego Comic Con all those years, I bought tons of exclusives that I cracked open. You know, there wasn't, up till now, or, or even back then, um, there was the majority of exclusives that I would get was really for me to crack open and use in my collection, regardless of how exclusive it was. Um, and then, uh, I'm trying to think, I don't think... If there's any that I I kept sealed that that wasn't to flip, you know, of course sometimes I get some some to flip or or I'd, I'd help some people out with some back in the day. Mm-hmm. Um, but if there's any that I actually kept sealed, like even up to now, it's only because it I got it autographed. Um, either got it autographed or. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's any, you know, if you guys remember where I mentioned that, like, one of the things as far as sealed stuff is stuff that, um, or for me that I keep sealed is stuff that I plan to get autographed. Right. I don't think there's any exclusives that I, that I, uh, I kept that are waiting to get autographed. But there, I know there's at least two exclusives I can think of, uh, off the top of my head that, that, um, I got autographed. One of them was the, um, there was the uh, SH Figure Arts um, Armored uh, uh, Power Rangers Black Ranger. And um, oh, I forget the name of, of the dude, the dude's the actor's name, but he was he was appearing there at, at Comic-Con. And that was my first time meeting him, got that autographed. Um, and then a few years back, there was the um, Power Rangers uh, Megaforce, I believe, uh, like pack. It was like a multi-pack with all the Rangers. Uh, supposedly, like, it was, they had the little stands, like, they were piloting the Megazord, and then I, I didn't get it signed at San Diego Comic-Con, I got it signed at, at Morphicon, I think, later that year, like, that same year, or, or the next year, or something like that, so, other than that, 
if I get an exclusive, it's because I want the actual toy. Mm. You know, like if I could have been at San Diego Comic Con this year, I would have totally got those uh, those NECA packs with um, the Batman and the Predator and mm-hmm. Superman with the the Alien. Oh, those are awesome. Like I I don't I think those NECA ones they don't ever. Oh wait, no. Well, the turtles, the turtles. Yeah, those just re-release them eventually down the line. I wonder. I wonder yeah. if the Batman or you know the DC and and like Aliens and Predator ones will see uh, any any kind of re-release. I would love that because I I really want those. I don't care about any exclusive packaging or anything like that. Those are just because see, cool at those cons are the big they're the bigger ones. So like we have an amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. A lot of people were complaining this year because they didn't feel that uh, there was enough collectibles. At the end of the day, we got to remember it's a comic convention. We're going there for yeah. comics, right? For comics to collect comics to, and then like you were saying, if there's certain guests that we want that, that are there that we want to meet, like I went and saw Eastman again for the second year, just talk to him and get his signature. That was cool. Um, you know, that's what you're going there for. It's just, you yeah, know, yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's not necessarily the toys or the collectibles. It's, you could be going for some of those bigger cons. Probably have specific like runs on comic books and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, and you can only get them there at the convention. But, you know, that's a good point. Like, I, I didn't know about that. Uh, people, like, you know, talking about Las Vegas, amazing Las Vegas Comic Con and not being able to love Comic Con, it's not... It's it, when, you, when I traditionally think about Comic Cons and not Comic Con, a lot, of, a lot of times people forget that San Diego Comic Con is... It's probably not the very first, but it really is the, the, the original Comic Con. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyway, you know, SDCC... <laughs> SDCC or San Diego Comic Con um, that has evolved. But when I think of smaller local comic conventions, I still really picture them as a true comic convention. You know, uh, and it's a plus if you live in a place where you also now have toy conventions. Like we have, we have Toy Con. How are you going to com- complain about lack of collectibles in Vegas? Or, or at at L- amazing Las Vegas Comic Con when we have Toy Con, yeah, um, you know that there's your there's your collectibles right there. Go to go to Toy Con, which also had a a, a great number of guests. Although um, amazing had like some some pretty mm-hmm. you know high ticket guests, if you want to put it that way. Um, it, which is interesting when you think about it these days, especially with a lot of the the big uh, comic celebrities. A lot of people do get toys signed, mm-hmm. you know, with even with with these comic celebrities. A lot like Kevin Eastman. A lot of people are gonna get uh, a Ninja Turtles toy signed as opposed to like a, a comic or something like that. Uh, even with some of these other big um, comic creators or you know comic celebrities, you know, like people like Jim Lee or Rob Liefeld, Todd McFarlane. A lot of people will get a figure or a toy. Mm-hmm. You know that's that's based off that artist's work, signed as opposed to to a comic. Um, even with like Power Rangers celebrities, I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot of there's not there's there's when it comes to something like Power Rangers, there's more toys than than other merch that you would get signed. But um, yeah. yeah, so um, yeah, exclusives. Um, yeah, but even with our our smaller you know like local cons, there's there's exclusives and stuff like that too. Um, but I mean, I guess it's, I guess it just comes down to very exclusive to me now. Looking at, it, I guess it just depends on whatever you guys are trying to collect, and whatever you're willing to pay for it. I guess, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It's just, that's how I always looked at it. It's like how how much is somebody willing to pay for a certain collectible? If it's that much of a, a love for it that you need to have it. You know? Yeah. Um. You know, when you think about. The the price it sells for at a con, which even then usually convention exclusives are a little more expensive, you know, for what they are than than like a regular retail figure. Like um, look at the the Black Series figures. Mm-hmm. Historically, like what do they go for um, at the con? They're probably like thirty bucks, yeah. you know, as opposed to their retail counterpart, which would be like twenty bucks, you know. So, but then there's then so there's a price that they sell for the actual you know retail price which is already more than than a regular figure and then there's like their their secondary market value uh, you know it, it, I, I wanted to say like after a while but like no instantly 
like, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, people at the con were, were flipping like those Black Series Sith Troopers on eBay while they're at the con for like, I don't know, how much there was 70, 70, 80 bucks maybe. Um, I mean, the bro Chris probably knows, and we've, I, I've seen it on social media, the memes where people were in the Funko line, and you're already like, okay, cool, they're on offer up, and we're carring, ready to like, wow. I'm going to get this, and they're going to just like flip it right off the bat. It's like, it's sad to say, but... But, I'm not saying uh, every collector does that, yeah, but a lot yeah, of those yeah, people yeah. that are in the line, whatever they can get, I'm pretty sure they're going to be flipping them that it, day, It's like this, this week. It is what it is. I, I almost don't want to get too much into that because that's a whole other topic right yeah, there. You know, um, anyone, would you guys be interested in the whole topic of like scalping? You know, that's, man, that's... Flippers. Sweet. The flippers. That's, that's, a, that's an interesting like topic. The pinball machine, the flippers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's almost like... Um, it's it's one of those things. It's I, I feel like it's a touchy subject. Like, I almost yeah, feel it's exactly. like politics. It's it's something that you know people are so divided on, but also very strongly opinionated on. So it's just people's character and their morals, yeah, yeah, where yeah. they're at, right? So I I totally would like to do that. I'm almost like we should, who who could we have like join us on that conversation? That would be um uh. You know, on that note too. Again, if you're local to Vegas, uh, and you, you you'd be interested in joining us on one of these, dude, hit hit us up. Right. Let us know. You know, um, you know, especially if you're you're watching this from like Jason's Facebook or something. And, yeah. You know, the, all are welcome. Or again, same thing. Even if you're if you're from out of town, out of state, out of the country, wherever you are, if you if you're gonna be coming to Vegas. Come on, hit me up. Come over. Yeah. We'll get some pizza. We'll, we'll watch. We'll, we'll play some video games. If somebody can bring... I don't have a... <laughs> I have my original PlayStation we can play. Uh, and then we'll do some of this. Play with toys and stuff and, and talk. So, um, yeah. Anything else you want to say about about the exclusives? No. I, mean, I can't think of anything else. If anybody else has any comments or anything, I can always answer back or just hit me up. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I always intend for these things. Sometimes I wish we can do this in some format where it's like a live forum where, uh, you know, maybe we should try that one time. Try doing like a Facebook live video yeah, so that. people can comment. I, right. I've never done one of those. I don't know how it works, but I know like when it's live, like people can comment mm -hmm. and we can see the comments as we're recording. Oh, and I think I did that one time with, um, with the bro, Kyle. Um... Yeah, that we, we should try something because, like, uh, this is us sharing our opinions, but these are totally, we're always presenting topics that are something that, as collectors, we can all relate to, and you guys are going to have thoughts and opinions on these matters, and, and I wish it was, like, a, like I said, in a way in some sort of live, open forum where you can all interact, like, real time, but... Even in this format, that's what the comments are for. You know, share your thoughts with us. Uh, we're we're going to see the comments. Jason yeah. is, he seems to, I, I know, <laughs> if you know me, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm slow to reply a lot of time. And a lot of comments will, will go unreplied to by me. I always intend to, but, yeah, I'm just, you know, that's the kind of busy I am. You know, uh, family life, parenthood, you know. But, but Jason yeah. also has been doing a good job of replying to those, to those comments. Yeah. You know, so so definitely feel free to always comment, reply to anything we, we talk about, and you know, share your, your thoughts, opinions on the matter as well. Um, oh, one thing, another shout out. I think we're shouting out Kelly because yeah. uh, she uh, presented the uh, the idea of yeah. this topic, it's right? Today, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Um, oh, and then speaking of, I don't think I, I I think I intended to mention it at the beginning. Um, speaking of topic suggestions, so, and I, I did briefly mention the, the giveaway video, but I, I did, I forgot to kind of actually officially update. So that's another thing. I apologize for the delay because I did intend to, to, you know, for us to do a follow up that the next Friday announced the winner and stuff, but then a lot came up and then I got real busy with work. I had a really really a busy weekend at work and just you know outside of work just nothing was gonna happen that's just that's how how busy work and everything was this this past weekend um but we have chosen a winner uh one one lucky winner of that awesome uh you know uh g1 optimus prime reissue is that a walmart exclusive 
I want to say it was a Walmart. Because I haven't seen it. Yeah, anyway. I don't. I don't know if it's officially. I think Walmart carried was the one that carried. Okay. Because all the other retailers didn't get it. Yeah. So so we have picked a winner, uh, which will be announced in the next in the next video. And I think the way we're gonna do that is we're just gonna that that topic that we chose as a winner. That's what we're gonna cover uh, in that particular talk. And you know, you, you will know you will know you're the, you're the winner. So um, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh wait, wait, real quick though. Um, we're talking about like Han exclusives, but then there's also all these store exclusives. Yeah. Um, you know, Walmart's got their exclusives. Target's got their exclusives. Hot Topic. Hot Topic. Oh, you, yeah, you mentioned that. Fye. Box Fye. Lunch. Don't forget Walgreens. 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 I used to oh. hit, I used to hunt Walgreens all the time for toys. Yeah, it's it's. You know, it sucks for me personally. There's a lot of people who have better luck but i never find the cool walgreens exclusives um like at least like as far as the marvel legends um i found i think i've usually found the um the wwe ones which is which is good for me because i i collect the wwe but uh those marvel legends ones i never have luck i think i only i scored uh invisible woman and that was like what was that like a couple years back i think i been like a year or two years ago. yeah i think I, it was, I was the... able to get all i got all of those um i had to get i think i got the thing at one of the toy cons i had to get that's wow. the thing that okay there, you know? see i didn't i didn't score any of so i got invisible woman thanks to the bro um carlos bad karma bad caramel 103 um he hit me up one night and this was like way past midnight this was late at night that he found it at a walgreens and it was wasn't one of my nearest ones it wasn't too far um but uh i was like and he stashed it for me remember you guys remember stashing uh, some of you guys still do that <laughs> that's a broke ass collector move right there uh or you're doing it for a friend which hey that's cool um but yeah so i went and grabbed that and she's the only one i didn't find any of the other fantastic four ones silver surfer um who else have they done um the x-men line just recently they had uh, mystique Mystique. I've um, never seen Mystique. They did a re. They went re I can't say re-release, but Magic. They did Colossus to Sister. Yeah. So Magic. I did get lucky scoring. I don't remember if that was at my nearest one, which I was really happy because um, I actually got the um, the SDCC exclusive. The what was it? The it was a Doctor Strange set. Yeah. I got that. It had hella. Uh, but at the time, I wasn't really collecting Marvel Legends. I got that set. And uh, I, it was really cool, and, and Magic and Hella like were the ones I loved the most out of it. Um, those, then, trend, uh, those are the ones that trend for a lot now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but then I ended up selling them because I was like, it was it was before the time that I really got into Marvel Legends, and I was, I was like, dude, these are yeah. And I opened mine. I opened. I was playing with them, but even loose, I was like, dude, these are going for this much. So you know what? Eh, you know the way I am. Uh, I mentioned it before, I, I also got no problem letting go of stuff if I know um, that there's something else I want that it's worth getting rid of this for. And at the time, you know, since I wasn't really collecting, I was like, yeah, I could let go of these for, for the price they're going for. Um, and then, you know, I don't know what I got at the time from, but, you know, then I always regretted, like, the, the, the figure I regretted most was, was Magic. I was like, man, she was a really cool figure. I didn't ever really know too much about the character, but just how awesome she looked, and then... I was pretty excited that that she came out as a Walgreens exclusive, uh, exclusive, and that's another thing. It's not necessarily with exclusives, but Hasbro these days it's almost like a lot of things are going to get a re-release. Look at the the recent um, Juggernaut, yeah, uh, Hella, uh, which yeah. I missed her in the what was it the Gladiator Hulk series, um, you know the Ragnarok series. Mm -hmm. I missed her, and then she went for stupid money. I, and I always felt bad because I was like, man, I want her. And then I actually just saw her earlier today at, at Walmart. I didn't get the pack, you know, still probably going to wait a bit. But it's exciting to see that she's re-released and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, uh, Walgreens exclusives. Uh, who else exclusives? And then the, the weird thing about this is uh, we were talking about the stickers is sometimes their star exclusives will have stickers. Yeah. Some won't. So, Tar yeah. Don't Target usually have like an only at yeah, the, the Target, target yeah. sign. So that's kind of cool. At least there's something to, um, you know, like these to, to mark that exclusivity. 
Um, but again, most of the, or for me personally, most of these retail exclusives, store exclusives, they're figures that I'm going to want. They're not, there's nothing like, ooh, it's so special and I'd want to keep sealed. Um, you know, they're just figures I want, you know. Uh, yeah, like GameStop. GameStop recently, they had the, that, uh, I don't know what it's called, but that Star Wars uh, Battlefront, I think it's it's a Battlefront-based uh, figure, like some sort of jump trooper or something mm-hmm. like that. I haven't gotten it yet. Uh, I do want it. I'll get it eventually. But, um, yeah, it's another case of the exclusive that's like, man, that's just a cool figure. I don't care about its exclusivity. I just I just want it. So, yeah. All right. Well, cool. Anything else, then? Exclusives. What a joke. No, just kidding. <laughs> they got you guys suckered. Paying these stupid, right. waiting in these stupid ass lines and That's trying it. to win a lottery, paying all this money to go at a, go to a con for those exclusives, and then there's not even you're not even guaranteed you're gonna get the exclusive. You gotta win a lottery, uh, you know. I'm sure like on on social media and on forums and Facebook groups, there's a lot of people who complain about oh, yeah. having been there and not even being able to get the exclusives, you know. Because I've been there, you know, all those years I was going to San Diego Comic Con, and there was times where I wasn't even able to get this because I wanted to get So, yeah. Anyway, it's funny. It is what it is, though. Um, <laughs> uh, hope you guys enjoyed. You know, uh, it feels good to be back doing this. Thank Plenty you. more to come. Uh, again, comment down below. Uh, check out the Instagrams. They're going to be down in the description. Jason's and, and Ellie's and, and Stephanie's. And, um, again, um... Man, if if you have any chance to come on by and join us on one of these, all are welcome. Um, so I, fa- I found Sasquatch this week for myself. Oh. So I put them together, so he'll be in like pictures and stuff, whatnot when I'm going. Out. Nice, yeah. So he just put his yeah. uh, Sasquatch build a figure. This dude is is huge. Really this dude is figure. beefy. Look at him. Yeah. That's cool. Look at that. That's really cool. His, his boobs are looking shiny right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a beefy figure right there. And then um, they kind of did they kind of reuse this guy for um, for Wendigo? Do you think they they might have used some of that? Skull some, I would imagine some. But of I, that. I know he's pretty unique as well. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen that guy up close uh, to see how similar the uh, the the molds might be. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, it's Marvel Legends. I wish I was not, uh, and now, now I'm just rambling. I'm like, eh, we, we've gotten this long anyway. Um, sometimes I wish I was a Marvel Legends collector. Because, man, they're so cool. Uh, and they just put out so much. Like, Hasbro, like, stop. You know, give us a break. We can't, we can't catch a break. You get a, you get a wave, and then it's like a couple months later, sometimes even sooner, another one is out. So, and then, you know... You, that's how, that's how Funko is too. It's the same, um, yeah, everybody's like really hard into it. Still, it's just like it's it's hard to keep up with. It. It's it, they seems like they know when to drop it. You know, yeah, like, oh, got that out. Which is yeah. which is also weird because there was a time as a Marvel Legends collector, we'd we'd see these reveals and it'd be so many months. We're like, man, when is this gonna come out? It was always like before we were always like waiting too long. Now it's like it's way too fast. Y'all need to pump the brakes because uh, yeah. So anyway, all right. Let's wrap this up. As always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching. Thanks for thanks for coming, man. Thanks, See you guys in the next one. See ya.